Hi, my name is Ben Spalding and I am a chef living in Kent but based in London. So Creative Belly um, is a creative events and catering company. We do a mixture of corporate, private um, and various other events. We have that sort of music festival uh, what's coming up in April which is like Coachella Festival where we've been asked to go to Los Angeles and cook for two weekends and be one of the caterers there. Uh, it's the biggest music festival in the world. They get the creme de la creme of, of, of acts from all around the world and it's based about two hours outside of LA. They've been breaking boundaries of the whole music apps they book all the time but they wanted to do it the food this year. They've never booked anyone outside of America to do any kind of catering there and you know and when you're getting asked by like you know people at the very top of their field like that to, for you to come over specifically to do that you know that you're you know that you're on the right course. It, it's very very varied there's not one way to, there's not one way to really describe what we do but we'll literally we'll cook anywhere anytime uh, we don't use kitchens when we have something else that, that sets us apart we, we're very low maintenance in that sense we will just show up we, we set up a few tables portable inductions we're very well organised beforehand and we will then just cook. We also hold a lot of our own public events, so things like Strip Back and No Rules. There, there, there are concepts, you know, there, there are dining ideas. And I set Strip Back up out in Broadway Market, actually, and used to do it every Saturday. I did it for a period of three months and literally it was just a trestle table, four seats there. We had uh, paper plates in the beginning and, um, yeah, it was all advertised through Twitter, really. The idea was you just come in and you sort of go, oh, what's that? You know, sit down and you have something to eat go away and hopefully you think wow that's really cool and the idea is you come back next week then we had a four out of five star review in the metro which is pretty mad i mean we were cooking out of two suitcases we had created this little makeshift restaurant uh, out in the playground in the middle of hackney <laughs> and just feed people like you know gastronomic delights really I and mean, it's like a restaurant street food if that makes sense i think it's kind of like the only one of its type what, what is missing for street we've seen that i think is a little gap we could exploit and i think you know we've got it there Right, No Rules is, uh, is great fun. It's basically where you bring your least favourite ingredient and your favourite ingredient. I'm getting the guests excited and getting anticipation growing, you know, you know, beyond the level of having a reservation. This is like, they're, they're, you've kind of got a connection with them while they're in the supermarket or in their local market or whatever, going to source that ingredient that they love or like going to get something that makes them smile. They could be going to get, I don't know, Nutella and Nutella could be something that you know they've had on toast when they were a kid and their mum and dad used to make them. Obviously got the least favourite which is then they're getting something and they're just thinking oh man like there's no way I'm going to be able to eat this you know. So you're really challenging people in that sense. You know then guests will bring their ingredients so at the beginning of the meal they sit down we say hi how's it going and we literally from where you are Mark you're right there we're here like you're sat there we're cooking here you know we're not hiding anywhere we've got nothing to hide here. It's complete and utter honesty and it's all up in the air. There is no menu you know, no script. And uh, it's crazy the dishes that are coming out. So we'll take around a tray and uh, all the ingredients will go in there. We'll look at them and I'll assess it with the guys and, uh, and then we'll go, right, we should do that. It's all open, it's all up in the air. There is no no set rules or boundaries. But at the same time, we're, the whole time, we're always respecting in the back of our mind what goes with what within reason. You know, I'm challenged again as a chef because I have to be honest, I was getting to the point where I wasn't feeling very challenged. I need more, I need more adrenaline, I need more ideas, I need to learn more, I need to question more, I want more knowledge. I started it without a penny, you know, it's just. I've done it out of pure, pure drive, pure passion, and you know, a will to, to do, do our own vision. And I think for me, it's about finding those key people around me who want to share that success equally with me. And to keep growing and keep learning and keep questioning and keep having fun. We have fun, I think, is the main thing. We have a blast. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We take what's going in your mouth, you know, and on the plate very seriously, but we don't do it with an arrogance. To run that ethos into Creative Belly and, and find the right people who I can trust enough to leave, take over it, and then get a permanent site up and running, which um, I've, got, I've got a clear-cut vision and concept for. But it's, you know, it, 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 when the time's right, you know, the best way to sum it up is I've come to, I've found my style, you know, and uh, I think not many chefs are able to say that at, uh, at 27, so.